वेलकम गाइस डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर मीटिंग अगेन इन दिस लेक्चर वेक्टर कैलकुलस इट इज़ लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स दैट वी आर वांट टू शेयर विद यू इट विल बी ऑन दिस लैपलासन ऑपरेटर इट इज़ द ऑपरेटर डेल्टा टू यू मे रीड और डेल्टा स्क्वायर इट इज़ ओके वेल बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस लेक्चर सिक्स इट इज़ माई एडवाइज टू यू यू शुड फर्स्ट read lecture number 5 you should go through lecture number 5 uh, the fact is we have already uh, done this delta 2 there but we have not named there it as laplacian operator today we are in a position to define this because we know now it is character delta what is delta 2 square delta 2 or delta square what does this stand for and uh, now today as per your uh, syllabus this is named as laplacian operator and we have already done some terms on this delta 2 today we will go give it its definition and we will then uh, give the um, laplace's equation what is laplace's equation and what is harmonic function very important things laplace's equation and harmonic functions we will be dealing with that let us start let us come with me okay we define this laplacian operator in this way let me have an introduction to this i will have some introduction on this as uh, i have already told you about this delta 2 operator delta 2 or delta it is a it is it has a character delta operator has the vectorial character in nature we write uh <coughs> the vectorial character vectorial character of character of delta being consistent in nature it is a consistent so that we can find we can find what delta 2 or delta square it is a vector just as, as you write when a is a vector a square what you write a dot a so we write it as delta dot delta now what is delta you know it is i do by do x plus j do by do by plus unit vector k do by do z remember this then it is dot product with itself i do by do x plus j do by do by plus k do by do z when you operate the dot product how you operate i dot i is 1 i dot j is 0 i dot k the simple way as you know we simply multiply this with this and other things are zero so this goes it is del 2 by do 2 by do x square plus do 2 by do y square plus do 2 by do z square it is your delta 2 or you may say delta square this is called the this operator will be now called what it is a laplacian operator this is called is called laplacian operator remember this now we have operated the dot product of the del with itself that gives Uh, delta 2 square and this is expression is called the laplacian operator now if <coughs> phi is scalar point function when your phi is scalar point function what is your delta 2 phi this will be do 2 phi by do x square plus do 2 phi by do y square plus do 2 phi by do z square 
when your phi is a scalar point function you operate this laplacian operator with phi what this expression is remember this this will be a scalar scalar function this is scalar function okay next <coughs> Now taking phi, taking f as vector point function, when phi is our vector point function, then Laplacian operator delta to f, f is a vector point function, we have delta 2 f or delta square f it is do 2 f by do x square do 2 f by do y square plus do 2 f by do z square and what is this is always a vector point function is a vector point function so, when we operate this uh, Laplacian operator with phi, when phi is a uh, scalar point function, this expression gives you a scalar point, scalar function and when you operate this Laplacian operator with the vector point function, then this expression is a vector point function, remember this. Uh, so <coughs> next, we defined what is now Laplace's equation, Laplace's equation. This was about Laplacian operator. Now we have Laplacian equation. Laplace's equation. What is now Laplace's equation? The equations. equations del 2 phi is equal to 0. Now, this has become an equation if it becomes 0 and you may write del 2 f is equal to 0. These will be called called Laplace's equations. First, we define what is delta 2 or delta square. It is called the Laplacian operator. When, then we find this Laplacian operator with the scalar point function. The expression that it gives is a scalar. If we operate it with a, a vector point function, the expression it gives it is a vector. Now, if it becomes 0, if it is equation type, then this will be called a Laplace's equation. After this, we define very important thing. What is a harmonic function? harmonic function what is harmonic function these are your laplace's equation delta 2 is your laplacian operator this is laplace's equation now if there is any function but whether it is a scalar function or the, or it is a vector point function <coughs> then the function will be called the harmonic function if it satisfies the Laplace's equation. Any function we define it here in this way, this is definition, any function which satisfies it is Laplace's equation will be called called harmonic function. This will be called now what harmonic function. 
this is harmonic function. For example, if psi is any function, we have psi any function. If this satisfies our Laplacian equation, if delta 2 psi is 0, if you operate this psi with delta 2, Laplacian operate, if it become, become a 0, this implies then psi is what? Harmonic function. Psi is harmonic function. Let us have some applications on this so that you will understand uh, what this harmonic function is. Let me have some application. applications. I will take first application number 1. Show that phi is equal to x square minus y square. Simple question. Phi is x square minus y square is harmonic function. How I solve it? When I go to its solution, I will write phi is equal to x square minus y square will be harmonic function if phi satisfies Laplace's equation as per the definition it must satisfy Laplace equation. what should it give that is if del 2 or del square pi is 0 if it becomes 0 now let me check is it Laplace's equation or not what is my phi your phi is x square minus y square. I need here partial dou phi by dou x. What is that? It is 2 x. I need partial derivative of phi with respect to y. What is that? Minus 2 y. I may need partial derivative of phi with respect to z. It is not z there. It is 0. Okay. Then I will check. Does it satisfy? Well, <clears throat> what is my del 2 phi? It is actually dou 2 phi by dou x square plus dou 2 phi by dou y square plus dou 2 phi by dou z square as per the definition. And now I have to see it does uh, dou 2 phi delta 2 delta 2 delta operator square phi become a 0 when we substitute the value of phi. If it is 0, then <coughs> we say it satisfies the Laplace equation. When it satisfies the Laplace equation, phi will be harmonic function. Okay, let us see. You can write this in this way partial of uh, dou phi by dou x with respect to x. It is partial of with respect to y of what? Dou phi by dou y then it is partial of with respect to z of dou phi by dou z as per the second order partial derivative. We use these values here. <coughs> this is dou by dou x of what? You have found out dou phi by dou x here. It is 2x. Then plus dou by dou y of what? You have found it. It is minus 2y. Then plus dou by dou z of you have found it. What is this? 0.
well when you differentiate this one partially with respect to x now it is your 2 this is your minus 2 this is 0 this is 0 so that you have got del 2 or del square phi is equal to 0 so this implies phi is equal to x square minus y square satisfies what satisfies satisfies laplace laplace equation when it satisfies Laplace equation, so by definition this means phi is what harmonic harmonic function. Phi will be now called what harmonic function. Very simple. Now you may ask a question here because we took here phi is equal to x square minus y square. It is a scalar point function. Let us have some more application, simple application on the vector point function. Okay, let us see. <coughs> Let us take one more application. Application number 2. I will write if f is x y unit vector i plus y z j plus z x k. I have taken a vector point function is f harmonic is it harmonic that means what we have to see does f satisfy the laplace's equation <coughs> in any way uh, let me find out here what is partial of f with respect to x partial of f with respect to x it will be y unit vector i it involves it is plus z unit vector k then I will find out partial of f with respect to y. What is that? With respect to y, it is x unit vector i plus z unit vector j. This does not involve this. Then partial of f with respect to z, I will find out. It is free from z, it has z, it is y unit vector j, it has z plus x unit vector k. Derivative of z is 1, derivative of y is, derivative of here z is 1. In this case, x and y will be constant and we are differentiating with respect to z as you know partial derivative. Next now let us check Laplace's equation. We have delta square or delta 2 f delta 2 f what is it? This is delta dou 2 f by dou x square plus dou 2 f by dou y square plus dou 2 f by dou z square. We can write it dou 2 delta 2 f is partial of with respect to x of what dou f by dou x. This is plus partial with respect to y of what dou f by dou, dou y. This is plus partial with respect to z of what dou f by dou z. Now use these values and check this is delta 2 f is dou by dou x of what dou f by dou x you have found dou f by dou x what is this it is y i plus z unit vector k then plus dou by dou y of this what is dou f by dou y you have found it it is x i plus z unit vector uh, it is z yes unit vector j <coughs> then plus dou by dou z of you have to use y unit vector j plus x unit vector k. Let us differentiate this. You have to differentiate this quantity with respect to x. It is free from x. No x, no x here. So it is 0 plus. Differentiate this with respect to y. No x, y here. It is 0. Differentiate this with respect to z. Only constant is y and x. No z here. So it is 0. So it is 0. So you have proved delta 2 f is vanishes. It vanishes. This operator gets vanished. So we say f is what? f is also
so we have proved that delta to f is 0 implies f is equal to what was this x y i plus y z j plus z x k satisfies satisfies Laplace equation hence f is what harmonic harmonic function. So, we have taken here simple cases when we took phi secular point function and we took f vector point function and they have satisfied the Laplace Laplace's equation and these will be called now harmonic functions. Let us have some applications uh, this on this uh, this uh, second order uh, operator that which is called now Laplace operator some applications we will have interesting applications you have used these applications previously but we will be giving now their proofs applications on Laplacian operator. I will take first application. It is a very interesting thing you have proved it. That means we will prove that uh, this uh, commutative character of this del operator. We will do this thing. will prove for del operator if we operate del dot del phi we can write it is del dot del phi or you may write it is del phi dot del you see it is just uh, working like a vector you know if you have lambda is a scalar you have vector a dot vector b you did it in your previous classes you write it is lambda times vector a dot b or you write it can be vector a dot lambda b you cannot distribute this uh, lambda with both it will be uh, ambiguous it means you are uh, multiplying then by lambda square so it dot product says you can distribute it with any one of the two similar is the case here we we can use it it is a very important property of this how we do how we do let me take this thing let us take this we have del dot del of pi this you will write i dou by dou x plus unit vector j <coughs> actually you write in previous lectures you did like this like this it is summation of i dou by dou x in this way you did it plus again summation of i dou by dou x then it is f i am just reviewing you how you did in starting lectures about this del operator. Now this will be it is your i dou by dou x then plus j dou by dou y then plus k dou by dou z it is dot with i dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z phi now operate the dot product as you did i dot i is 1 i dot j is 0 as you did the simple way is increase of dot product we multiply this with this this with this we take them it is do 2 by do x square then this will get operated with this do 2 by do y square plus do 2 by do z square into phi okay 
do you know how it get us some students may get confused when you write when you write this i i am just giving you the you may not get confused what i am doing do by do z dot i do by do x plus suppose when i multiply this with this it is like this i dot i do by do x of do by do x then plus i dot j do by do x of do by do y these become zero it is your i dot i one this is do two by do x square similarly when you have j dot j it is do two by do y square so remember this it is a just a dot product operators <coughs> now this gives you it gives you do two phi by do x square plus do two phi by do y square plus do to phi by do z square operating with this therefore we have found do dot do del dot del sorry del dot del operator into phi is this thing name this equation first now let me take one side of this third you can do similarly Let me take now. Next, I will operate. Next, I will take now. Del dot del phi, or del phi dot del. Why not the same thing? What is this? It is your i do by do x plus j do by do y plus unit vector k do by do z. Then dot. What is this? This only do phi. It is actually the gradient, gradient of phi, isn't this? It is gradient of phi. So you can write it. I do phi by do x plus j do phi by do y plus k do phi by do z. Now operate this dot with this. Let us operate it. I dot I is one. This you can write. It is actually do by do x of do phi by do x. Then plus do by do y of do phi by do y. Then plus do by do y z of do phi by do z. Okay. Now you write this. It is do dot do phi is it is do two phi by do x square plus do two phi by do y square. This is do two phi by do z square. This is one second equation. So this implies by from first and second we have proved do del dot del of phi is Del dot del phi, or it is del phi dot del. This proves the result. Very important. This uh, application of this, uh, I have given the you today lecture. What is the uh, this uh, Laplacian operator? Laplace's equation, harmonic function. How we find it? Properties. I will give some more properties on this uh, uh, delta square or del two delta two. operation you will see i will also again discuss with you the what is solenoidal vector how can we find solenoidal vector and this uh, a rotational vector so on and so forth thank you very much uh, take care i hope you are following the lectures but you should uh, this uh, suppose you want to uh, this uh, revise this lecture or read this lecture go through this lecture before this you must go through the previous lecture that we did then it becomes very simple for you to understand the things thank you very much wish you all the best